start with this question. What is going to cause massive job disruption? We're going to talk about AI, right? The fifth industrial revolution. You're going to be affected by the geopolitical, the political, and the economic conditions. Well, I think it's really, really important for everybody involved in any of these activities to have their own probabilistic judgments as to where all of this is going. There's a lot of new things that are possible right now, and there's a lot of great innovation, a lot of new things to be built, and I'm very bullish overall. In 2010, we did a market map of all fintech, and there were probably 30, 45 companies at most on the entire market map of what was investable in fintech. And today, you could add a zero to that. I oftentimes think about you know, the magic of rideshare. You know, I could pull out my phone, push a button, car shows up. And I think if you could do that for auto loans, if you could do that for mortgages, if you could actually move your dollars around to the place that gave you the biggest yield or the place that lowered your interest rate the most, think about how much more efficient financial services would be on a personal level. How many MBAs in the room? <laughs> or like MBAs, you know, like it's just uh, the value is no longer you know, maybe in consulting, sure. These days, if you want to enter finance, you study math, you don't study finance. <laughs> There's a lot of snake oil being sold, I think, by insure tech companies. You've got largely companies that are uh, effectively lead generation or traffic arbitrage companies that are just reselling somebody else's product. We still have that legacy of like card present, card not present, and thinking that the card present swipe or the chip is better or more trusted than an online transaction. The most needed thing in America today is break the back of the bureaucracy in Washington. When you make money in a space, you dig in and try to figure out more about it. And so the fact that people are making money in the space, it's not just a, a fad. There's real, real intellectual heft and capital going into building this new system.